what I learned back in 2018, what these teachers wanted to do with this outdoor experience, which was all about STEM and 21st century skills. I said, this is absolutely right in our wheelhouse. This is our mission. This is our opportunity to turn the outdoors into our classroom. This is not a field trip experience. This is a regular day at school, and we just happen to be outdoors. We put together this whole plan with the idea that it would be K through 12, so that by the time a student graduated from high school, they had a complete body of knowledge so that they're just better stewards of the community that we live in. This year, we are targeting the fifth and sixth grade student populations in efforts to get every kid outside experiencing hands-on lessons in nature. Our five-year plan is to be able to extend it into hopefully pre-K through 12. We talk about this in the classroom a lot, but without being able to get out there and be in the middle of the woods, to be near a lake and in a, a river, uh, you know, it doesn't really come to light. We want them exploring, we want them asking questions, we want them excited about being outdoors. We're connected to all sorts of standards within this project. Our September visit is going to be a lot of fourth grade review of oceans, of watersheds, of ecosystems, and our November is going to be right around the time when we're actually learning geology in fifth grade and about the rocks and the rock cycle and our earth. That will tie in directly into the lessons that Luxstone will be doing with us. Our spring one ties into all of our human impact, the living system standards. We are designing these experiences with all of those standards in mind. We are going to do a soil and water and food chains and interdependence day in September, planting erosion, the food webs, the watershed and that will all come together. And then in November, we're gonna have um, activities that tie back with Luxstone and about the geology portion and the layers of the earth and different types of rocks. At the sixth grade level, we're going to be looking into mapping coordinate planes for math and history, and then tying that into um, science through abiotic and biotic features of water systems and land. Using Westview on the James is utilizing resources in our community because it's right in our back door. We have 760 acres of you know, forests, streams, rivers, all of these things that the students can do. At the end of it all, we know that students and adults alike benefit from being outdoors. It's good for your physical well-being, it's good for your mental health, your social emotional health, and outdoor education is a growing trend for all of these reasons. Being able to tie that to our content makes it even more perfect for, for opportunities like this. It gives us an opportunity to come together with students across all of our schools to start building those relationships, which for us in fifth grade, it's especially important as they get ready to go off to middle school and blend together with the, all the different, all three different elementary schools. As we build those relationships and then the others that we have with community partners, it just, Goochland, Goochland's a small town. Goochland comes together and to watch these kids be at the heart of it and our, our natural resources be at the heart of it. If we can teach them to take care of our spaces and to appreciate what's in the world around them, make them environmentally conscious and more ethically responsible, I think we're building a better future for ourselves and one in which kids are taking care of the spaces that, that we have. We do encourage uh, anyone that wants to support this and um, to please go to our website because this is a GIA project that we want to make sure that we can make successful for all the students in Boochland County Public Schools. We're very excited that this is a, a, another really cool signature program for the, that the GF can fund.